When you first open the app, you'll get a brief tutorial covering the basics. So at the end of this tutorial, it's going to ask you to sign up for an analog kit account. This will allow you to share things you've created and keep your projects and your modules backed up. So you're going to want to do that. So at the home screen, you have a few sections. You have my projects, where all your projects will be. Shared projects. These will be projects you've shared with the swap meet or the community section of the app. And then subscribe projects. This is where you'll find collections of projects that you've subscribed to. So we've subscribed you to a few collections to get you started and these collections are updated live so you'll see more projects show up here as we add them. So let's check out the demos. So some of these projects are high level with uh, just one module like like Jampad. And some are a little more modular, like Glamorous China Cabinet. So let's say you find a demo that you want to reuse, but it's all in pieces like this one. Let's package it up. So we're going to double tap and drag and draw a lasso around all the modules. We're going to press the Contain button. So now let's lay out the modules. I'm going to tap the module, press the Layout button, and just sort of arrange them. And tap the background when you're done. So now when we close the project, it's going to ask if we want to save a copy. So we're going to just do that. And now we have a copy of that in My Projects. Let's create a new project. You'll find everything you need for building in the AK menu. We're going to look at the modules in the basic section. If you look under Modular, all these are designed to be similar to modules you'd see in an analog synthesizer. Here's an oscillator module. Just drag it out. So everything in the basic section is built in the app using core modules. So you can double tap to open it up and modify it or see how it's built. Let's just tap the border to get back out. Let's connect it up. So you can tap on a module to see what the ports are. Inputs are always on the left and outputs are on the right. So we have out and frequency out. So we want out, so we're going to drag a wire from that port and connect it to the speaker on the right. We'll do that for left and right channels. So now you can change the waveform, frequency, and level. Now let's add a keyboard. Find that in controls under core modules. So we're going to connect the frequency output into the frequency input on the oscillator. And now if we turn the level up, you can hear the keyboard change the frequency of the oscillator. So the gate on the keyboard will output 1 when a key is pressed. Let's use that to turn the oscillator on and off using the level input. So one of the issues is the frequency control on the oscillator is adding to the frequency input from the keyboard. So it's a lot higher frequency than we're expecting. So let's just turn this all the way down. Now we have the right frequency. So you might notice there's a little click when we press a key. That's because the gate is turning on and off immediately from the keyboard. So there's quite a few ways we can fix this. But we're going to go into Modular. We're going to use this Follower module to smooth out the gate. So we're going to grab this wire from the middle and pull it off the level and attach it to the Follower. And we're going to attach the Follower to the oscillator. Now we can adjust the rise and the fall time. Let's add a few more things. Let's add an overdrive from the effects section. 
I'm going to connect it up here, and we're going to move these wires down to the output of the overdrive. Let's turn it on. Let's change this to a sine wave. Add a little more drive. Now let's add a filter. Let's go back to the modular section. Drag out a filter. And connect it up. So now we're getting a little clipping on the output. So we're going to add an attenuator to lower the level so we don't clip. Now finally, let's add an LFO. So this is going to output a slowly changing waveform. And we're going to use that to change the cutoff of the filter. So we're going to connect that to the cutoff. Let's see how that sounds. Let's change it to a sine wave. Let's lower the level of it. Now let's lower the start octave of the keyboard a little bit. For settings, let's drop that to 2. All right, let's package it up now. Let's arrange all the modules. And now we'll lasso them, the double tap and drag, and hit contain. Now we're going to save this module so we can use it later. Hit the save button. I'm going to pick a collection. I'm going to create a new one. We're going to call this module FrobDob. Just tap save. Now since we saved this module, we're not going to save the project. Now when you create a new project, that module will be available in your local modules collection. Hi, that's it. Thanks for watching.